grand reopening of Sports Park. Corporation. Before we begin, I'd like to recognize some of our esteemed guests. To my right, we have Representative Jerry Nadler. <laughs> Representing State Senator Liz Kruger, Orgy Tenen. <laughs> Representing Councilmember Julie Menon, we have Cameron Kaufman. And of course, all of you residents, community leaders, and island stakeholders. Oh. I would like to extend my deepest appreciation for elected officials. Together, your advocacy and partnership have led to significant, significant achievements in improving the quality of life of all who work, visit, and call those who are island home. If you recall, we've had several ribbon cutting ceremonies of the past few years, but this by far is my favorite, as this project has completely transformed this facility. Getting to the po this point would not have been possible without the relentless efforts of our REAC team, beginning with our REAC Board of Directors, our executive team, our capital planning team, and owner representatives, Lero Engineering, our facilities team, Finance Department, Human Resources, Communications, Procurement, Horticulture Grounds, Public Safety, and lastly, our Sports Park team, including Director Joe Natale, General Manager Phil Flynn, and Assistant Manager Jakob Turpin. Woo! Sports Park is a deeply important part of, of the Roosevelt Island fabric. Since 1977, the facility has provided the community with a place to exercise, play, gather, have fun, but over time, it has deteriorated to the degree that required a significant, well-capitalized overhaul. When we closed the aging complex for this improvement, for this important renovation work, we understood the hardships it posed in the community. But we also knew that when the sports park finally reopened, the transformation would be incredible and well worth the wait. Now, everyone can enjoy the state-of-the-art facility with memberships affordably priced. Again, with memberships affordably priced. <laughs> Once you tour the facility, I'm certain you will instantly fall in love with the look and feel of our latest investment and learn about all the exciting things the sports park has to offer. At this time, I'd like to introduce to the podium Congress Member Jim Jerry Nadler. Thank you very much. Despite my being a member of Congress, you don't have to worry about me making a long speech this morning. But I'm thrilled to be here on Roosevelt Island on such a celebratory day. The reopening sports park is an exciting opportunity for Roosevelt Islanders to partake in a variety of illness, of fitness, sports and wellness activities in a newly renovated facility. My staff and I have begun to meet with residents of this unique community learned about the importance of spaces like Sports Park that make Roosevelt Island a special place to live. I'm glad that REAC listened to community members and elected officials about the need to maintain affordable membership fees so that Sports Park can remain accessible for Roosevelt Island residents to enjoy all it has to offer. Thank you and congratulations to all on this great occasion. Thank you, Congressman. None of, this, none of this would have been possible without the support and authorization for funding from our real of directors, including those here today, Faye Christensen, Conway Ekbo, Howard Pollavy. To speak on behalf of the board, please welcome board member Howard Pollavy. Good morning, everyone. This is a wonderful day. We're proud to open this new facility, renewed facility, for Roosevelt Island. Many of you have been here over the years, 
You remember the deteriorating shape. You remember the locker rooms with 15 layers of paint, maybe. You remember areas that were simply not usable or not used. That's all changed. I think you'll be very excited when you see everything different inside, also everything the same inside. Facilities basically where they were, but upgraded, improved, made usable for all of you. The best, the best reward we on the REACT board would have would be full use of this facility. We built it from a vision of renewing something which was falling apart, underutilized, needing heat, hot water, air conditioning, to something now, state of the art, for everyone's use. Again, the REAC board is proud to be able to open this facility. We're proud of our role, small in this process, overseeing the various changes as they came. And we're glad to be here on this bright, sunny day to see it open. Thank you to the community for your advocacy and for your interest, and thank you later for your use. Sheldon has already mentioned all the people who are so involved in getting this to its perfect state. It was a long process through many reviews, through many inspections, through getting it ready for this day. The day is perfect, the facility is great. Again, our best reward would be your use. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. To give additional background with details of the scope of work, please welcome our Director of Capital Planning, Prince Shaw. Good morning, everyone. My name is Prince Shaw. I'm the Director of Capital Planning and Projects at uh, REAC. Super excited to be here uh, at the grand opening of the Sports Park building. If you've seen my PowerPoint, you'll know this is going to be a long speech. I'm kidding. Uh, this 44,000 square feet renovation project had many existing condition challenges uh, that our team of experts helping, uh, helped us navigate through. We want to express our gratitude to Cameron Engineering, Renette Riley Architects, June Daniel Architects, GMV Associates for leading the design and swift construction administration efforts. Cameron's team has done an outstanding job with interior renovation and designing the facade that speaks to the language of contextual architecture and providing a beacon at the south end of our island. We'd also like to extend our special thanks to REACT's owner's rep, the Lero Group, and their sub-consultants, Laris, for their tenacious efforts in providing uh, construction oversight and management. It takes a large coordinated effort to get a project like this completed from procurement, legal, grounds, and to our engineering and maintenance team, a special thank you. Uh, they provided an invaluable feedback in building management system design and execution. I'm very happy and excited to see what we've been, uh, for you to see what we've been working on. Thank you. Thank you, Prince. I'd be remiss if I did not thank and acknowledge our, orig our original sports park team who have all grown into different roles within the corporation, but their journeys began right here at the heartbeat of our island, the sports park facility. Their dedication and love for sports park cannot be denied. I'd like to call to the stage, Eddie Perez. Joe Patron. Yakov Turpin. And last but certainly not least, Andrew Feely. I'd like to present to you all certificates of appreciation from REAC on this day.
go. Last but least, I'll go. Thanks. For our final speaker, please welcome Director of Sports Park, Joe Natale, to set the stage for what's to come in the newest sports park. Thank you, Mr. Haynes, and hello, Roosevelt Island community. Before I touch upon the facility upgrades, I want to give a huge thank you for all the departments at REAC who came together to make this project possible. And I also want to give a special thank you to our sports park team right over here, um, who are very, very excited and enthusiastic to serve our community's health and wellness goals. Prior to the extensive renovations, sports park was in desperate need of key repairs to existing amenities, as well as the addition of new ones. Some of the highlighted features of the new sports park include updated locker rooms, a brand new regulation size hardwood basketball court, which can also be utilized for indoor volleyball, indoor soccer, and handball. We also reimagined an unused space and turned it into a state-of-the-art fitness center, as well as added a recreation room where we have tabletop games such as uh, ping pong, table tennis, uh, pool, and air hockey. And lastly, the mainstay of Sports Park, the pool. It needed much needed upgrades. And what we've done there is added new lighting, new HVAC, resurfaced the pool floor, as well as added a brand new pool deck. And I think you guys are gonna really like what you see today. We've also added programs such as weekly indoor soccer and volleyball. We've added family swim time, family basketball time, and teen basketball time. And starting in July, we'll begin to enroll uh, our residents and members into our swim programs as well. We're extremely proud of the facility you're about to walk through and hope to see our residents enjoying the space for years to come. After this ribbon is cut, everyone is free to make their way over to the west side entrance where we'll begin our bulk touring groups. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. Before we cut the ribbon, I must say I want to take the opportunity to make a special announcement in honor of opening our new facility. Thanks to the REAC board, the Office of the President has the power to, pro the power to proclaim this day. What better way to make use of this power than one of my first acts to proclaim today's Sports Park Day here in Wilsford Island. Can you bring me cutting, please? 
So for what you all have been waiting for, we are happy. We're counting down to the seconds when you can make your way into our new state-of-the-art sports park center. Before that, I will have an opportunity for all of you to please make your way on top of the platform and fill up the steps for our grand ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you.